Alrighty, looks like Bungie put out a Vidoc on the raid. Let's watch it. Raids are all about a fire team of six journeying out into the unknown and accomplishing the impossible. Those six are forever enshrined into the history of the game. It's Asperish Con. It's supposed to be something that's difficult. It's supposed to be something that makes you sweat and think a little bit more than everything else in the game. I feel that everyone can do if they put forth the effort. Root of Nightmares. Bungie Developer Insight. The theme of Root of Nightmares is all about balance. And internally, the codename was Raid Harmony, specifically for that reason. So it's all about using both light and dark. And we wanted to really make that shine through the encounter mechanics. In order to progress forward, you don't need just light or just dark. You need to work them and mesh them together in order to get through everything. You've arrived. Good. The environment of the raid is really exciting. It's like something we've never seen before. It's a pyramid environment. I love how the raid a looks. A lot of beauty in it. Aesthetically. This raid was all about terraforming. With this one, we wanted to do something a little bit different and have you revisit the same space, but evolve it over time. I it's love the fact theme. that they terraform the Tree of Silver Wings over the entire of, raid. It's really cool. Uh, the Witness's Pyramid after it's been yeah. terraformed by the Blast of the Traveler. Our whole process starts off with a huge brainstorming session. Everyone that's a part of Raids and Dungeons gets to join it. As that develops, we then we get core ideas of what we wanted to pull out, and then from there, so that looks weird, pre alpha. So like, Skizzion was a big one. For that encounter, we developed jump pads. The boot walls look like flowers your or red, red blood cells. The arena and we're like, oh, let's <clears> play fun. <throat> After some testing, where Boop. people died a bunch. Only a few times. Only a once dozen or, or so. Twice. It's fine. <laughs> The final shape awaits. Your fear brings you pain. We know pain. When we were building the raid, knowing that it was going to be the Witnesses Pyramid, we were like, what's the room that we could use that would really clearly indicate to players that this is the Witnesses Pyramid? During the third encounter in Fruit of Nightmares, if you actually look up, there's Io and Titan in there, and you're like, oh my gosh. This is where the planets are. Just seeing the planets move around and feel like you're in that space from mm. the cinematic is super exciting. Having a space that you have to try and kind of live up to on some level is, it's a unique and yeah. interesting experience. They would use a linear. We want to pay off big story threads. Mm. Like that's the one of the things that is really critical for us on Raids and Dungeons is having a, a boss that you're excited about wanting to kill them because you know who they are. You know what they've been doing. Nezarek, he whispers to people in your brain. Look at that close-up. That's in. dope. On Neomuna, there's the cloud net. All the citizens who are in there, they're sort of getting their brains infected by his whispers. Free me. You can't really interact with him when he's in this non-physical body. And so you need to go through and bring that body back into existence so that way you can finally stop him from terrorizing those citizens. Nezarek is sort of like, you know, this, this father of nightmares. He's got these horns that are reminiscent of the exotic helmet. He's got spikes all over his body. It's got like these animal patterns on it. I want to experience this world with my new perspective. He's broken up into a bunch of pieces and he's dead, but he gets revived using the traveler's light. So he becomes half nightmare pyramid sort of creature, half light. When you see something in front of you in the game, and then it looks angry and it has a beast kind of like animal sense to it and it moves you want to get out of the way the raid exotic is um a shotgun it's this double barrel shotgun that's like this shotgun's awesome side. there's ice coming out in the other and i was like whoa whoa and i had people and friends and tests that like aren't even involved in raids I'm like yo you gotta check this out it feels so unreal in the best way, blending both light and darkness. It will fire first its stasis shot, and then it will fire its solar shot. Very opposite ends of the spectrum, both dark and cold. Right, yeah. Being light and hot. Something about wielding that just in a quick one-two kind of sets my brain alight and also plays very nicely with the themes of the raid. I cannot wait to use it. You get it when we drop. I just have to get it first. <laughs> If you're willing to talk with your friends and put in a little bit of work and, you can do it. and die once or twice or in 12. some some cases 12 times <laughs> the goal is to drive a lot of that communicative friendship with people and have that shared bonding experience in a way that tests you in a ways that you don't always get in other content in destiny
We really want to test the bounds of what you're capable of. I think just hearing the word raid scares a lot of our players. And I always tell people, I'm like, we're doing something that's fun, that's a little bit more difficult than you're used to, but still a ton of fun. Yo, he looks awesome! Why didn't they use that skin? Dude. Good video. Thanks for watching. Subscribe and follow for more. And get that sweet raid jacket if you want to buy it. See you, Guardians.